Hello, in this video, I will be going to talk about how to solving equation involving indices. Alright, so this type of equation indices you already learned in your secondary school. So after this video, I'm going to further uh, introduce you about uh, indices that involving quadratic form. So let's look at this one. Uh, this is an indices that uh, involving uh, have same base, okay? They're having the same base. So for example, okay, I'm going to do these three questions for you so that uh, you will see how what is the technique that require. So I try to do three questions for you and you try to see the video or you can try to do the question. So 9 to the power of 2x, right? So and equals to uh, 1 over 7 to 9, right? 1 over 7 to 9. So, as you know that 9 and 7 to 9, they have a common base. They have a base, uh, you, you know that 9 have 9 to the power of 2, right? 9 to the power of 2, because 9 power of 2 is, uh, uh, 3 power of 2 is 9, so it's 2 power 2x. So this one, you have 7 to 9. 7 to 9 is uh, 3 times 80, 3 power of 4, I think, 3 power of 6. Uh, 3 power of 6, you get uh, 3 power of 6, you will have uh, what, uh, 7 to 9, right? 7 to 9. So you can bring over to the numerator, but the index here, you have to change, become negative, change the sign, become negative 6. So now you can, 2 times 2, you have 4x equals to 3 power of negative 6, right? So now you can say they have the common base, but now we are doing equation, right? So since they have a common base, we can directly compare the index because of the equation. So we can write 4x equals to negative 6. So you have x equals to negative 3 over 2, right? Uh, for these cases, you have uh, negative 3 over 2. So if you, if you uh, <coughs> let's say, uh, you can check your answer by putting this value in back uh, to, uh, to the 9 to the power of 2x, right? Uh, let's check. So let's say you, 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 you can use your calculator to doing all the checking. For example, this type of calculator, you can key in uh, 9 to the power of 2 alpha x, right? I repeat again, you see, I key in 9 to alpha, sorry, it is 9 power of uh, 2 alpha x, right? The meaning here, this is a solution. If you put this solution into this, uh, this uh, the x here, substitute here, you will definitely get the value of 1 over 7, 2, 9, right? So let's try. you pressing the button, calculate, and you key in the value. Uh, negative 3 over 2, all right? Then you're pressing the button equal, uh, equal. Then you have one over seven two nine. Yes, of course. Then means that your answer is correct, right? Uh, you can check your solution. So, all right. This is for question one. All right, question one. How about question two, right? Uh, question two. All right. Let's move on with question two. Question two. You have uh, 1, 2, 5, 25 to the power of x equals to 1, right? And you know that 1, 2, 5 and 25, they also have the same base. The, the lowest base will be 5. 1, 2, 5 is 5 to the power of 3, right? Uh, 5 power 3, you get 1, 2, 5. And 25 is actually 5 to the power of 2, which power of 2 and power of x, right? You put the x outside and it equals to 1. So then you can see that 5 power of 3 multiply with 5 power of 2 multiply x. So you have 2x equals to 1. Then finally, because they have the same base, you can add the index, which gives you 1 plus 2x equals to 1. Uh, up to here, can you say that, well, yeah, then you said 5 is the power of 3 plus 2x. How about 1? Is 1 have the common base, have the same base as 5? You know that 1 can be changed to any type of base. It can be 3, can be 4, can be 5, as long as you put a 0 here, right? And because any number, power of 0, ex except 0, except 0, any number, power of 0, you will get 1, right? Here, I choose 5 so that I can compare the index. So it means that 3 plus 2x equals to 0. 
and you have x equals to negative 3 over 2. Right? Uh, negative 3 over 2. So you also can check your answer by using calculator. Uh, I do it again. So if you're interested, you can study. So 1, 2, 5, right? 1, 2, 5. Can you see? 1, 2, 5. So I key in 25. 25 power, right? Power. So I key in power. Sorry. Power of alpha x. Uh, so, or, or y is also okay. Alpha x. Sorry. Alpha x. So you have bracket. Right. Uh, so then you calculate, right? Calculate. Calculate the value here, the negative 3 or 2, so that you can get 1. If not getting 1 means something wrong with your answer, right? So you key in, you key in negative 3 over 2, which equals, uh, then you see, you have 1 as your answer, right? You have 1 as your answer, which satisfied the, the, the this is the roots of the, equa uh, this equation means that it's a, it's a, uh, it's the value that satisfied this equation. Alright, let's move on to the last example, uh, number 3. So it seems like uh, number 3 is a bit complicated compared to question 1 and 2. So it means that I'm going to introduce you this, uh, how to deal with index that have the same base, right? Uh, having the same base. So, uh, okay, this is the way which you know that 2, 8 and 4, they have the lowest base, means that the common uh, factor, the factor 2, which is 2, means the lowest basis is 2. So, square root of 4, okay, I do it one by one, you know that square root of 4 to the power of x plus 1. Okay, to avoid mistake, I do it separately. Square root of 4x plus 1 uh, is actually the same as everything to the power of 1 over 2, square root, right? Uh, so, 4 power x plus 1. And for your knowledge, you actually you can change, interchange these two. You can make it the 1 over 2 inside and you make it the x plus 1 inside. Right? You can interchange these two. Alright, these two power. You can put outside, this one put inside. So now this one becomes 4. 4 is 2 to the power of 2. Right? 2 to the power of 2 and power 1 over 2. So then you have uh, x plus 1 outside. So this one you can eliminate, right? Uh, so, or you can say 1 over 2 is square root of 4, square root of 4 is 2. So you have 2 to the power x plus 1. Alright? Uh, means on the left hand side, you have 2 to the power of x plus 1, right? You have 2 to the power of x plus 1. Okay, let it be. So let's look at for the uh, right hand side, right? The right hand side. Right hand side, you have uh, 1 over 8 to the power x. 2 to the power of x plus 3. Alright? Uh, so, if I, I will bring everything go up. I will bring the 8, go on top, it becomes negative power of negative x. Uh, you can do this way. Right? You can apply this uh, log, uh, index law. You, once you bring up the power, you turn negative. And this one also the same. 2, you go up. Remember to put bracket because everything turn negative. Alright? Uh, then you convert the, because 2 is the smallest base, so you convert the 8 become 2 to the power 3 and power of negative x. Okay, this one, the bracket I read right as 2 power of negative x, negative 3, right? Uh, okay, now you see how I do. 2 to the power of 3. This is multiplied because 2 power of 3 and again, you power of negative x. So you multiply, you have negative 3x, right? Negative 3x. Negative 3x. Then multiply with 2 to the power of negative x minus 3. So since this is multiply and the base are the same, so you add up the index. Uh, you add up the index. You add up negative 3x plus negative x. You have negative 4x, right? Negative 4x and negative 3. Uh, this is for the left-hand side, right? Left-hand side. So now, since they are equal, right? They are equal. So I can say that 2 to the power of x plus 1 is the same as this one from the left hand side, you have this after simplify, then you compare with this from the right hand side, right? So which is uh, 2 to the power negative 4x minus 3, right? Uh, then the base is already the same, right? So you can compare the power, 
since they are equal, of course, if the base is the same, the index must be the same, right? So that they can equal. So now equal negative 4x minus 3. Ah, now negative 4x. Go there, become add x plus, become 5x. Negative 3, positive 1, negative 4. So you have x equals to negative 4 over 5 as your final solution. So for this, you can also try use calculator, which you, 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 you evaluate the, the, the value on the left hand side first by putting this value. And later, you put this value again in the right hand side. If they have the same value, means that this value is satisfied the, this equation. Alright, I think that's all for this video. Okay, this is a very basic uh, that equation that involving indices. Alright, okay, see you on the next video for the more complicated equation involving indices.